everyone, my name is Jaybird and welcome back to Everlasting Summer. We're just gonna jump right into it. Right now, right now, right, right the fuck now. Okay. Let me see. Maybe Shirk decided to pick up stones near the water. Blah, 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 blah. to get even with you. She smirked. Meaning? You lost the bet. So I wanted to show you the camp leader how you're stalking me. I wonder what wrong Olga Dmitrievna could find in this situation, but let's move on. I see. Maybe I should apologize to you? I asked sarcastically. Screw you! She went into the house, slamming the door. No, screw you, you fucking sundre bitch. I wasn't angry at Alyssa. In the end, I'd expected her to do something like this. Yeah. Um. I love you. Well, I think you'd look gorgeous in it. Food poisoning. I'm not gonna ask about it because that's just rude. I gotta give her this. Oh yeah, it wasn't there before. Wow. Um, I'm gonna not eat the apple. I have to go with Yana. Count me in! I looked at Uliana, astonished. Her thirst for adventure seemed to have no limits. Look! Good night, ghosts, no camp, it's great! On the one hand, such company always promises trouble, but on the other hand, it feels safer going together. Perfect! Having said our goodbyes to the other girls and Olga Dmitrievna, we were left alone. Do you consider this just an entertaining walk? Well, yes, so what's the matter? Ulyana giggled. Never mind, really. I sighed. Oh, hold on! I'm gonna fetch a flashlight. Okay. I was just about to suggest that myself. It seemed I would not only have to visit an abandoned camp at night, but also look after a fidgety child. Oh, I don't call her a child. We're on her fucking route. Oh, God. Why? Well, since it's Uliana, I should be twice as cautious. Electronic had told us about... had told us the old building was built right after the war. 
that looked like a kindergarten or like a barracks, I expected, and definitely could hold less pioneers than today's camp. It had been abandoned for about 20 years. Ulyana skipped forward as if everything was just a game to her. I was ill at ease. Actually, that was normal for a person in my situation, in the night forest with scary animals and birds eager to swoop down on you. The full moon and this whole other world I had come into not too long ago. I might be better off all alone without needing to look after Ulyana who was running in front of me. How hasn't she tripped over something yet? Listen, be careful. Or what? She turned around so quickly that I shivered. Nothing, you may hurt yourself. Are you worried about me? Of course I am. I mean, that's normal in such a situation. Uliana pouted. Listen. I decided to continue our conversation. It's more relaxing and less scary this way. But what is it about that old camp? You were saying back there at the square. Yeah, it's a really scary place. They say that all the pioneers died there and became ghosts which guard their last earthly refuge. What did they die from? It was kind of hard to believe her scary tales. How should I know? I wasn't even born back then. But you say it so confidently. I got information from a reliable source. And where would that be from? From Alyssa? Not gonna tell you! So what happened next? They died and became ghosts? That's all. What do you mean, that's all? And now the souls of the dead pioneers roam around the camp and take everyone who dares to enter the world of the dead. Oh, wow! Okay, move along! <sighs> Time passed. We went deeper into the depths of the woods where the trees enclosed everything. Suddenly I realized the forest had gone completely silent. As if the night birds had hidden in them waiting for something and the insects had dug into the ground. Even the wind had died away. I imagined that the streams of moonlight breaking through the thick foliage were ringing like plucked strings. At last, trees parted and we walked out to a large glade. In the middle of it was an old building resembling a kindergarten. It was shrouded in a thick fog. It looked like we'd come out into a cemetery and the old camp building uh, at its center was a crypt. I mean, center. <laughs> According to Ulyana, there, was, there were pioneer souls roaming here. Truly, it wasn't like a mass grave. I shivered and clenched the flashlight tighter. A dreadful place to tell you the truth. Oh, come on! She patted me on the back cheerfully, which only made me more scared. You're not helping me, Ulyana. I was about to move forward when the moon showed among the clouds, illuminating the glade, the old camp building, and us. Under that light, everything seemed not so old. The crumbling brickwork, rusty slide and merry-go-round, the few panes of glass that miraculously remained in some of the windows, they all became more vivid. I started to imagine that unknown monsters came out to the glade from the forest, a place of eternal darkness where even the moon can't reign. I hope that they fear the light like vampires. Though maybe they could turn into giant wolves at full moon like werewolves. Well, I have you stopped. I'm thinking. About what? Why? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait. Will you? Will you? Will you? Will you, Shrek? Why would the Shrek want to come to us? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love typos sometimes. Why would Shurig want to come to such a place? How should I know? We'll ask him where when we find him. Yes, obviously. I mumbled and folded Uliana. She walked more carefully now, looking under her feet, stopping occasionally, and even looking back several times. That's natural. In some places, the grass reached her chest height, and nobody knew what could be there on the ground. Scrap metal, stones, shattered glass human remains, you know, the normal. We finally reached the door. Uyana stopped and said, Well, here we are. As if you'd won a race. This isn't a game. <laughs> well, <laughs> Semyon, <laughs> we're playing. 
a game. You're in the game. You're... You're... What? Boring. I made a displeased face and stepped confidently into the darkness. It was dangerous to let Uliana go first. Dangerous for her, dangerous for me, and maybe even for all the humanity. The inside of the old camp building made an even more depressing impression. I even felt sad for it for a moment. Or probably for the people who lived here back then. It, surely ha it had surely been full of the joy of children in the past. Pioneers ran around, played games, had forgotten. A strict leader like Olga Dmitrievna maintained order. One session ended, a new one started. And now it's just standing there, here, crumbling, rotting, forgotten. Look! Uliana gave me an old ruined doll. 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 doll, 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 doll. Falling apart from the damp. One more piece of the past. So what? Nothing. She moved out of the light, but I noticed sorrow in her face. As sad as a cemetery. Scary. I haven't seen anything scary yet. It was indeed more relaxing in here than outside. It really was like a cemetery as you look for a specific grave while walking among countless tombstones, feeling discomfort inside, but then you find it and your soul calms as you lie next to it. I shuddered and let the flashlight play around the room. There was no sign of Shurik. However, what, I, what did I expect to find here? His corpse? Looks like he isn't here. What about the second floor? Shurik! I called loudly, but only my echo answered me. Shurik, come out! Come out of the closet! <laughs> you and your gay boyfriend electronic. See, we should check anyway. Why isn't there an electronic route in here? Come on! <laughs> you guys remember those that that one episode where it's just like, is this gonna be very gay? And then like the fucking <laughs> shirt with his shirt off scene happens. Like, oh my god, I didn't actually want that to happen. <laughs> well, I mean, it's <laughs> I was really happy that it happened, but I wasn't actually expecting it to happen. God. So I need to make a mod for this game where you can, like, date Shurik or something. Not Shurik. Date Electronic. Because that... <laughs> that will be the best thing I will ever play if someone actually makes that. Or if it actually exists. I don't even know if it exists. But if it exists, I want to get it. Okay. I know there's one where you can uh, date Olga Dmitrievna. So, yeah. We should check anyway. Okay, okay. There were no signs of life on the second floor either. I sat on the stairs and hung my head, feeling doomed. What do next? We can't walk around the whole forest, and I'm already sleepy. Why do you whine so much? Well, Yana was irritated. Whining and whining just like a kid. Oh, am I wrong? Right or wrong, what's the difference? If we are looking for sure, we must find him! But how? I begged. I don't know, somehow! Uliana looked like a strict teacher and myself like a careless schoolboy. But shouldn't it be the other way around? Look! I turned the light in the direction she pointed and noticed a trap door in the corridor. Corner! It's surrounded by garbage! It looked like it had been opened not too long ago. He must be down there for sure! Uliana rushed to the hatch and made a great effort to open it. Why would he go down there? It was probably, I don't know, some villagers. Is there a village nearby? I don't know. Uliana replied, breathing heavily. She hadn't managed to open the trap door. I started thinking. There was surely a possibility- Stop calling me Shirley. That Shurik might be there. I didn't know how- I didn't know much about this world after all. Actually, I knew nothing. Why should I- Why should the local residents act according to my logic? Could it be that he tried to escape down there, running away from wolves? Are there any wolves, though? Maybe owls. Okay, let's check it out. I strained my muscles and managed to open the trap door. Whee! It crashed loudly on the cracked wooden floor and, at the same moment, 
Uyana leaned over the hatchway, lighting up the basement with the flashlight. It's some sort of a tunnel. A tunnel? I pulled her back by the scruff of the neck to look in there myself. Hey! Curiosity killed the cat! There was indeed a long tunnel running into the darkness. It looked like a dungeon from a computer game. There wasn't any danger at first sight. No waist-deep water, no rats, no zombies. Okay, let's climb down there to look, but be careful. Roger that! Uliana beamed. It was really dark down there. The flashlight did the little to help. It dimly illuminated the concrete walls, lamps hanging from the ceiling, tangled in wires, and garbage abundantly covering the floor. Ooh. Oh my god. You guys hear, if you guys hear any weird noises, it's because uh, I'm on a phone call, a Skype call with my boyfriend, but he fell asleep, so that's why I'm recording right now. Uh, but I can't, like, mute him, unfortunately. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm supposed to take a screenshot. I'm supposed to take a screenshot. La -la 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 -la. I'm not gonna get copyrighted for seeing that, right? That's, uh, royalty-free. Are Christmas carols royalty-free? Royalty I think so. It would suck if someone, like, some fucking company decided to be like, Oh, hey, you sang that Christmas carol. You should, you, you should give us all your money. Even though I don't make any money off these videos. It's like, we're gonna put advertisements on your videos, even though you can't even make money off your own videos. Well, thanks! We slowly moved forward. I held Uliana's hand, fearing that she would run ahead of me. Huh. Well, actually, this actually might be a good time to leave the episode off at. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this and would like to see more, maybe I'll use the thumbnail for the next episode, but probably not. Uh, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this and would like to see more of this game, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Bye bye